Hey everyone, this is an intro to the video I'm about to release for you for each of your sun signs, but I did want to let you know that I am aware of the grainy, um, the video quality is kind of grainy because the lighting was a bit off and I didn't notice how much that was reflecting in the video until the end. So I just wanted to make the uh, intro to let you know that I am aware. All right. So without further ado, here is your video. Welcome Libra to your weekly love reading for May 28th to June 4th of 2018. So I hope I ain't saved 2017 in my other video. I sound like I did, so hope not. Um, so let's see. The overall energy and theme for you, Libra, for May 28th to June 4th. Let's see. Overall energy and theme for Libra and love. Overall energy and theme. Yep, a separation or breakup. I just did uh, Virgo and they were going through this kind of energy. So this is mild sometimes, a halt between you and a soulmate connecting um, on an emotional level sometimes. Um, a date night going wrong, drinking a lot, uh, suppression your emotions, just uh, going through a tough time and a tough patch with you and a romantic partner. So kind of drifting away as you focus on maybe other things, all right? Um, let's see. And it could be with the water sign. It doesn't have to be. Now... The personal energy coming towards you for Libra and love. Yeah, the King of Swords in reverse. You know, Virgo had this as well. Manipulation, not really telling the truth, not being honest, and not even opening up to you to let you know how they might be feeling, or they could have been talking to someone else and um, kind of making others believe what they say is true and it's really not. So that could be definitely an issue. It could be an older person or just your romantic partner. It doesn't have to be air sign. It could be anybody who is being manipulative, controlling, or trying to put the blame or guilt on you and very controlling. And uh, that's unhealthy. All right. It could be a manager that you're attracted to. It could be someone that you work with. It just depends. And your response to that particular person or energy, your response. Now, and if that's not a person coming towards your energy, you could be giving off that energy. It just depends. All right, relate that to your situation. Now, your response to that person or energy, Libra. Moving on, just stepping away from it. You know, as conflict happened, the Five of Swords is right before this. So, getting into that confrontation, whether it's gossip or whatever on social media or just you and your household love relationship and you stepping away from it literally like traveling you know um a weekend cruise <laughs> or we you know <laughs> throughout the week it just depends um but a lot of you just getting away from it um thinking about that person now your advice or libra advice let go of the stress all right slowly but surely keep sailing along to smooth the waters i feel like um a lot of anxiety maybe a lot of fear around communication the lack thereof saying too much or not saying enough to get what you need i feel like you know just let go and try to uh you know calm down calm your nerves all right and the outcome for libra for may 28th the june for the outcome The nine of cups as you let go the nine is letting go and you got a nine that comes in so this is happiness something that does work out for you for a lot of you if you're going through a separation or breakup with somebody that doesn't deserve you you feel like you've been taken advantage of anything disrespected you know a lot of things fall in line for you where um it's like reaping a reward a just due reward for handling things in the right way moving away from that conflict stepping away from it and then walking into something emotionally more pleasant it could be a person it could be money it could be just an event or something that's surrounding you that makes you happy now clarify the two of cups in reverse for libra the world finding closure maybe with the past for a lot of you out there it could be traveling it could be a trip to come see you to communicate and then you kind of move on and move away from that particular person for some um, this could be a business thing for a lot of you, um, removing yourself from a certain work environment where you work with your partner in the same way, then you kind of say, this can't happen, I need to separate, we need to work at different locations or, or different organization completely. So um, this could be momentarily or some of you are trying to close the door on a past relationship um, completely. Um, let's see, clarify the King of Swords in reverse for Libra. The personal energy coming towards the King of Swords. Yeah, they're walking away they're disappointed maybe because they didn't have enough 
respect or they just don't feel honest enough to communicate how they might be feeling maybe this is going on for a while so i feel like they are disappointed in walking away from you as well clarify the nine of swords in reverse for uh libra clarify the nine of swords in reverse for libra the eight of swords is there so yes you're feeling trapped you know you kind of take a step back which is this is not really um all that bad but sometimes this is like self-imposed restrictions that you place on yourself but then you know as you kind of let go kind of wiggle get some wiggle room so to speak let's see what the nine of cups is about click on the nine of cups for libra uh, communication i feel like this is where that's what it seems like to me you some of you stop communicating with somebody you either block them or shut them down and then you say okay that allows me my freedom to do what I want to do and maybe you're better off because you can do what you want maybe buy some time and maybe not be aggravated by that particular person or just constantly annoyed by their lack of communication or honesty and that's something that could be, be potentially making you happy sometimes you might need some time to do what you need to do or just get away from that particular person or situation because it drains you um, that could be the issue all right so and if you don't see big big signs of things to change maybe towards the end of the week know that they're there you know appreciate the small things that do come through as a result you may not you know be overwhelmed by the signs that you see but something good is going to um, come from this situation maybe it needs to happen so messages for Libra and love for May 28th to June 4th honeymoon it says enjoy the bliss of holiday time together for a lot of you that's where i feel like you could be around that particular person but they're not being honest about the connection or the relationship or while you are having a good time with them you might not spend time literally with them but you could be around that particular person um for some of you out there all right let's see messages for for may 20th june 4th and finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life that's why the delay might be there because you too i didn't mention business you may need to change some things that you're doing they may need to do some other things and communicate find out do some research and maybe focus on material wealth um, before the emotional aspect because that's not really going too well this week for a lot of you so that's going to be a reading i do hope that the messages did help you out in some way Lots of love, lots of light to you, tons of healing vibes. I wish you the very best. And you can always go to the website, psychiclovehills.com, to schedule something for you. Have a good one.